Members of the Sikh community gathered today at Oak Creek's Sikh Temple. It was the first religious services since the shooting just one week ago that left six people dead and three critically wounded. Members gathered at the temple to commemorate the lives lost and to come together in unity for a future of peace and understanding. A flagpole cleansing ceremony was held there. The flag was lowered, the pole was washed, and a new banner was raised. Traditionally, the flag is only raised once a year. This flag stands for a lot. I think it's a stand against a lot of hate, and it shows the love that we have, and it is a rejuvenation. Extremely powerful. You saw community members, you know, hoisting it up themselves, raising uh, slogans which reflected that spirit, that high spirit that we're in. Funeral services were held Friday for all six who lost their lives in the shooting. Three others uh, shot remain in the hospital. Hospital officials announced Friday the condition of one of the three individuals critically wounded has been upgraded. 50-year-old Santok Singh has been upgraded to satisfactory condition. He was shot once. The bullet went through his chest, diaphragm, stomach, and liver. He has had two surgeries and is recovering well. Oak Creek Police Lieutenant Brian Murphy is also in satisfactory condition now. Murphy was among the first to the scene and was reportedly ambushed by the shooter, Wade Michael Page, while providing aid to a victim in the temple's parking lot. Lieutenant Murphy was shot eight or nine times. And 65-year-old Punjab Singh was also shot. He was shot in the face. Doctors say he may have also suffered a stroke. He is still in critical condition. The Sikh community's healing stretches beyond the temple in Oak Creek. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz shows us how members of the Sikh temple of the Fox Valley are recovering. Sudeep Sodai of Appleton isn't alone when he says it's been a tough past week. Well, it's been uh, hard for the whole community and in fact I think it's been hard for the whole country. Sodai and other members of the Sikh temple in Menasha gathered on Sunday for their normal routine. However, they say things likely won't resemble normal for a while, considering the tragedy a week ago, a little more than 100 miles to their south. I guess it'll take some uh, time, like when these events happen, this, uh, it shakes your whole foundation of uh, where you are, uh, especially when it happens so close to you. It was a big shock for all our community and, you know, we're still recovering from that. Temple members estimate on a normal Sunday there are between 100 to 150 people here throughout the day. It was less this week, but members say some people traveled south to attend ceremonies in Oak Creek. So it's a very tight-knit community, so almost everybody will know somebody who died. Sodai says the Sikh religion is based on three things, to always remember God, work hard, and share. Members say all three will be critical in the healing process. After this tragedy, people would hopefully know more about our religion, know more about what our roots are, and what we preach as prayer is peace. While Sikhs view the new exposure to their religion as a good thing, they say it likely won't help make sense of what happened. This form of hatred is, I don't think, against a particular community. It's more against people who look different. I, I just hope that, you know, nothing like this happens again. In Menasha, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Members of the temple say it is open every day and anyone is welcome.